I can tell you the exact day I fell in love with cars. Uh, I took a trip with my family. I was six years old, six or seven years old, uh, and we went to California. And we did a three-week road trip from San Francisco all the way down to Mexico. And we were in a little town called Carmel to get lunch, and every car on the street was an Italian supercar. Now this is 1982, so it was before the internet, you know, it was before Lamborghini made 1,500 cars a year, they made 100. Um, you just get, get, get to see them like you do these days, and it fried every synapse on my brain. Um, I've always sort of liked cars, but I think it was just seeing 75 Italian supercars all on one street. It just blew my mind. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't handle all that. I'd say as a driver, that's always been a thing about cars. I love the look of them, I love the design of them. It's never really about how much, how much power they have or customizing cars. I'm not a builder, I'm not, I, I don't find any interest in it. I understand how people do, but for me it's always been driving. Uh, my name is Michael Piccinello. I'm uh, recently 42 years old, and I am co-founder of Classic Car Club Manhattan. The thing that I love most about driving cars is to be able to have a connection with a mechanical device. You know, I'm not a, I don't, I don't drive fast on the road, I just try to have a connection with that car. Drive quick, drive smooth, drive with mechanical sympathy. Treat that car like a gem, it'll treat you right, and you just, you just find this kind of zen moment. The right car on the right road in the right conditions, that's, that's, that's everything for me, that's, that's what I strive for. Speed is a sensation. We have a 1955 550 Porsche Spider. It probably only does 80 miles an hour, which by normal standards is not fast. But in that car, 50 miles an hour feels like 1,000 miles an hour. You're also really close to the edge of what that car can do. You know, it's more than half a century old, so certainly it lacks technology. It's very simple. And so speed is getting close to the car's edge. 200 horsepower in the right car is fantastic. I don't need more than that. It's about getting to a car's edge, because when you get to its end of its limitations, that's when it shows you what it's about. That's when you learn its personality. Same as a human. Put someone in a stressful situation, and you'll, you'll learn a lot about their personality. Classic Car Club Manhattan started in London. So Classic Car Club London was founded in 1995. Um, it was started by my business partner, Phil Kavanagh. So I would like to say that I was the clever guy with this idea, but I wasn't, it was him. And then in, I met Phil in 2003, maybe 2004. He had this ambition to launch the Classic Car Club in America as well. As an entrepreneur and you know, a, a guy who helps other businesses get off the ground, I would be really disappointed if I didn't have much play in this. And so I just thought, here's my money. I have you know, half of my time I could dedicate to this. And in about 10 months, we put our money together, we raised some more, we found a location, we bought cars, and we invented a new business in America. So the mission of the Classic Car Club is to give people outstanding automotive experiences they wouldn't be able to create on their own. As a member joins, uh, they pay their monthly dues, it's $180 a month. You know, on average, uh, if a member's spending about $13,000, $14,000 a year, they're probably getting about 40 days worth of driving. So, simple. Just call us up, let us know what you want to drive. It's detailed, ready to go, mechanically perfect. You're out the door and bring it back when you're done. So I normally don't have a favorite, but I, I will tell you uh, in the fleet, we have a 2007 uh, Z4 M Coupe BMW. It's been heavily modified and it is one of the most pure, analog, savage driving experiences I've ever had and from just a really nice ride. And, it's got a big splitter on the front, aerodynamic in the front, so you gotta be careful on speed bumps and things like that. But other than that, I mean, once you get out of town and you find yourself a good back road, man, it is, it is just driving purity. It's awesome. That car won't leave the fleet for a long time. We just got it and I'm in love with it. GT4 is such a great car. Cayman's a great car. I actually think Cayman's are better than 911s. It's just they're better balanced. Better, uh, better driving position, better, better size, all of it. Um, I understand why they can't be better than a 911 because the 911 is the flagship, right? But that Cayman GT4 takes 
the best of 911s and puts it in a Cayman, which is a better package. So it has the Carrera S engine, has a suspension from the GT3, has a manual gearbox with rev shift if you choose to use it. It's a fantastic car. So the new thing is, is that younger, younger drivers, millennials, don't care about cars. That's the, that's the statement. Um, I don't agree with it. Um, I just think that they have a different way of appreciating cars. So a lot of it is about the technology of a car. Um, a lot of it is about its utility. But if you look at the cars that are coming out, sports cars, let's talk about sports cars. I mean, you're, it's, it's, a new, it's a new dawn for cars, right? You have hybrids, and it's not just about efficiency, which is super important, really, really important that we burn less petrochemical. But they're also using electric engines to fill in torque where a combustion engine lacks. Smart manufacturers adapting for the younger generation, I'm really excited by what they like about cars. They want things to be efficient, they want things to be fast, they want them to be super technical. Um, but there's also that return to great driving. You see it in a lot of cars. I think that the love of driving is returning and people aren't noticing that. They're just looking at, why, why, doesn't, why doesn't a 24 year old own a car? Because there's no reason to own a car. Drive an Uber, go to a racetrack, rent a Miata, rent a Caterham like this, join the Classic Car Club, have your fun in cars, and then have your transportation in cars. I like most cars better than I like most humans, I suppose. So I'll drive them quickly. But I always treat them well. Usually I name my rental car while I have it. You know, you gotta make a relationship with the car. You gotta, you gotta try to know as much about it as, as it wants to figure out about you. And, well, 